Hi folks, this is Jamie from Randomized User, with our 14th and probably last roundup of the best games from the Ludum Dare 43 Game Jam, where all the games are on the theme of sacrifices must be made. Uh, do look out for the winners videos that we'll be doing at the end of the year for both Compo and Jam. Um, and do check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel for one dollar a month. That would be very nice of you. All the links are in the description, uh, along with links to the Discord and all that. To think that we wasted all this time just to see you fail. Well, this is overcharged. And this game is like a tower defence game where all the orange balls are trying to attack me at the bottom. But I have turrets that are already activated, shooting them away. Um, however, you can sacrifice um, one of the turrets, making them go mad for a while, but then they will be destroyed. So using that, you can actually get rid of more of them at once. And you just have to wait for the progress bar at the top, or the bottom, to fill up to the top. And then you'll be good. Right, so some of them have already been sacrificed. Let's go for that one. Uh, and also... That one. Actually, that's probably not the best one. Something already managed to get through, which is not ideal. I'm saving that one till last. Hang on, let's get rid of you and you, because you're not really needed that much. And you can probably get overcharged, because there's actually getting quite a few things in there. Um, if you actually manage to shoot most of like, them down to really small, um, they don't take off much of your um, health at the bottom, so that's a good thing to remember. Oh, that lad's coming. Yeah, let's get rid of that now. I think we're, I think we're sorted. We're almost at the top. And those lads don't seem to be in a rush. We will let you continue. Right, so that's level one dealt with. Now things are going to get more complicated. And there's a certain randomness to this. The levels are the same, but the way the balls fall, oh bloody hell, uh, is different every time. So it isn't exactly the same. Um, yeah, <laughs> by definition, I guess. I don't know what the green lads do. Oh, hello. Okay, so you're different. I'm going to let that one happen. So they do all the shooting even when they're not overcharged, but they don't do it very fast at all. So let's get that going. Also, maybe you... I'm not quite sure about these lads. These might have to be got. Also these. Bloody hell. Get, get them all. Get them all. Oh god, the big ones keep on turning up. Oh my god, that was a hell, hell of a hit. I mean, I'm really going to have to start absolutely blasting these things. I'm almost at the top, so I think I'm just going to absolutely blitz them at the moment. And hope for the best. We've still got one lad. Oh dear. Careful. Just in case. This is actually quite difficult. I've had, had, had to have quite a few goes before I got to the stage where I could actually do this. Oh, we've got some yellow ones in now. Don't know what they do. We'll soon find out. Oh, look! They actually, they've got a hell of a range. Oh, yeah, when you hover over them, you can actually see the range. That one's a short one. Let's start that up now. These are a bit longer. The yellow ones are enormous. Oh, they're coming in from the sides! The tricks are little shits! Oh, hang on. Okay, we need, we need something. Let's do both. Oh god, that one needs- oh, that one's probably- oh, oh my god, that was already?! Holy shit, okay, so the side ones are going to prove to be the, the big problem here, I think. I might have to um, overdrive my big yellow one in the middle. That was probably a waste. Give it as many as I can straight off. Although there is maybe a strategy in getting- in letting them all get gummed up. I'm going to have to get rid of- I'm going to have to do these, because we're letting too much through already. Bloody hell. In fact, just go for it, lads. Go for it! Uh -huh. Right. I mean, you. There's nothing coming in from the top now. That's interesting. Actually, there is a bit. <laughs> and because that will inform my strategy if, if I fail again. Right, so that one- oh, god. That one I need to- oh, everything's- oh, dear. Okay, you, you. There we go. Right, come on, we've just got a little bit of extra... Oh, we're not going to do this. <laughs> so yeah, tough, but very distinctive and lo lovely. A very clever idea. This is Nope. Um, this is a game about Nope. You must find the Nope out of Nope and successfully escape from Nope. Uh, <laughs> basically. So it's, it's a selecty thing. You select your lads and you, you go to the exit and that's it. But as the levels go on, they start to introduce more nasty stuff. You will actually have to start escaping. And you also need to make noise to distract enemies. And also, and make sacrifices. Right, now I've actually got this lad, so we can bring him. So we should now be able to get to the... Get through here. Hang on. Get through there. We may need to open this door. Yes, we do. So we need... One lad can go over there. Look at the thing. And I think we're all good to go. Into the evacuation area. He can go there. Yes, he can. He doesn't need to be sacrificed this early on. Now things might get a little more complicated. I can hear some bang. I can hear some noise coming from the left. 
so it may be wise to... Oh, look, that door is banging. Okay, let's go. Let's run for it. Run for it. This is where we start to introduce the horror. The fear! Thankfully, we all make it out alive. That's terrifying, bloody banging on the door. Right, so we are making a little bit of noise here, but... The exclamation marks. Oh, there we go. That's them. That's locked the door behind us. Oh, yeah, that door's now banging. So we need to get moving. Right, let's just move the camera a bit. And what are you doing down there? Right, you might need to stand there. I think... Uh-oh. He's on the move. I think he's banging on that door now. Okay, hang on. You go over there. I think they have to stand there indefinitely now. Oh! Run! Okay, one of our lads has got killed. Faster. Faster. Faster! Evacuate! Oh. Monster got another one of our lads. Right, now what do we do? We've got a door at the bottom. We can't go that way, so we have to go up, aren't we? Let's go up there. We'll just need a bit of... We'll have to go via the, the face door up here. That has not opened that door. It's opened that door. This is not good. I can hear the... Ah! Well... Oh dear, they're all running off. They've had enough. Oh, come on, come on. They may have to be sacrifices. Let's make, let's get that make, guy to make noise. Uh oh, he didn't take the bait. Bollocks. Oh dear, we've only got three. Hang on, you go, you go there. Maybe one of you can. Uh oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, <laughs> sacrifice quite a lot of lads. We've only got three left. Don't know where to go now. I think maybe over there. Oh, look. We've got some... Hopefully we've got some more stragglers. No one is safe. I'm not really using kind of like st much stealth at the moment. I'm just like letting them run around all over the shop. We're not making too much noise, hopefully. Oh! Run. You make noise. Oh, you've really got you left. Okay, lad. Quick. I don't think we're going to make this. Oh, he's gone. He's gone over there. One. Oh, dear. We've got one left. Oh. Oh. Where are you going, lad? Come over here. There we go. Oh, we need... Oh, we need to go over there. I can't see this ending well. Nicola Plant. Maybe because there's only one of me, I'm not actually alerting the enemy. Well, I'll take that. Uh-oh. He's on the move. You can hear the noise. Oh! I was literally there. I was a millisecond too early. <laughs> oh, gold. This is Take Your Soul Away. Uh, a simple but really lovely, uh, moody, uh, well-illustrated little cartoony game. You have died. And you've risen... I'm outside the pearly gates, but first of all you have to do a little um, solving of puzzles sort of thing. You have to wander around and find some people and give them some of your life, because this lad is shivering by the campfire of death. I've given him some of my life, but the person you look for is close to a triangular tree, so you have to find the next person. Let's go through here onto the next screen. You look like you're by a triangular tree. The person you look for wears blue pants. So you can see at the bottom I'm slowly giving up some of my my blue mystery life energy stuff. Oh, they... I think... Are you wearing blue pants? I think you are. And you can see also my, um, my life is ebbing away slowly but surely. What did you say? Hang on. Green hair. You've got green hair. Oh. Let's try down here. The pearly gates are right at the very top. So once you've done this, you have to... You haven't got... Hmm. We've already done you. The pearly gates do seem to be right at the very top, so you have to do a bit of a rush at the end. Uh, I can never do that in time. I haven't... Um, uh, I, th I wonder if I'm missing something. Oh, there's... Look, there we go. Green pants. Uh, right, so... I completely forgot what you said. I'm not sure how much... Okay, scarf with polka dot. I'm not quite sure how much that matters. And also, I think um, every time you play this, it is um, a it, sounds, it is slightly different. I get... Oh, hang on. You've already done you. Let's try and go north. But there's a certain random element to this. Have I done you? Oh, I haven't. Oh, there's the pearly gates. Oh. Oh, I think I've done this wrong, possibly. Because now I've actually got... Those are the gates, but I've actually got the key. Because if you do right, 
Oh wait, you can actually recharge there. I didn't actually realise that. You can actually recharge your life. But I didn't actually get the key. I think I've done it wrong. I might have actually got the wrong order, possibly. And also my life is di dying off very fast. Oh, I've actually got you. But I've got any more life to give. Oh, right. Ah. So I did do it in the wrong order, I think. Huh. This is Downfall, a very polished and simple puzzler um, in which you have to save the cities by quarantining off triangles. That is the virus that's trying to spread to the cities, the green triangles, uh, and those are the spots the virus is going to spread to next, unless we quarantine a tile like this. So the, it, the virus can no longer spread in that direction, but it's spread to that tile and it's trying to take over this. I can do that. And that's level one complete, three stars. And but you can't always save every city. Sacrifices must be made. So in this one, we've got to work out which, well, let's immediately quarantine off this city because it won't spread to the right-hand cities that fast. So, another three stars. And now we have to make a choice because if we try to save this city, it's going to get all these cities. So let's make that as a sacrifice tile. There, none shall pass. Uh, we may as well just finish this off. And three stars, which is as best as I can get it then. Even if I have... Okay, so this is going to be a bit more... Okay, so we can... We've got... Probably this is probably going to be another um, one city sacrifice. Let's go there, because that's closest. Um, I think if I go there, it's... We may be able to do this. No, we won't be able to save this one, I don't think, because we need to save this lot. All right, so that's going to go. But as long as we um, protect the three cities, I think we're fine. Do I get three stars? Yes, I do. Right, okay, so this looks a bit trickier, because now we have to make a bit more of a decision. It looks like... Well, those, that one's further away, so I think we, should, we need to concentrate on this side. Because um, there's a bit more time before that, we're just going to get that one. So let's do that. Um, I think we need to do another one over here. And then we need to go there. There. And there. There. Yes! Oh, hang on. Did I miss one? Oh, it took two over, didn't it? Oh, shit. I completely missed one of the cities falling. I only saved two. I reckon I can save three here. Um, which, which, the, which the best place to block things, I wonder? So, I reckon... I can actually, you can actually um, directly save the city like that. So, this is possible. Yeah, I can save three. <gasps> shit. I can't. Well, I can, but I, I buggered this up. It's gone round the side. I think my problem is that I've... Um, um, I keep on trying to go too close into the virus, and I don't. Th I think maybe if I start by protecting it further away, like this, you know, like that one, and then instead of like trying to like fight the front line, I can fight the back line. Uh, so this one, this one, and yes, this one. That's actually got three, which I think is the best we can do there. Yes. Uh, and so it goes. Yeah, this is really lovely. This is polished and... Oh, things have now got trickier. Uh-oh. This is indeed Fire and Atlas. Let's get going with this. So this is a cool little, um, sort of like a memory treasure hunt game. Uh, this... Oh, <laughs> I've already tried to dig pointlessly on the ground. So we've got a map here. Absolutely massive map over here, around here, and all that sort of stuff. And what we have to do is go to the various um, places and dig for treasure uh, by checking uh, checking the, the landscapes against the map that we've got. So it looks like uh, this particular map is identical to what we are on. So the X marks the spot, so there should be treasure there. So we've got one of 24. So let's try the next screen and see if that matches up with our maps. If it doesn't, uh, we'll have to go and burn the map and try a different one. So let's have a quick look. Does that look the same? It doesn't know because there's a tree there which is wrong. So what I need to do now is go back to the furnace on the first screen and go to that map and burn it and replace it with a new one based on what it looked like. Unfortunately, I'll have to try and remember what the hell it was now. Um, oh, I can't remember. I don't think there was one there. I think that might have been it. So let's now go back. <laughs> Was that the one? Oh shit, I didn't mean <laughs> press the wrong button there. No, this is not right. Because that tree's missing. That tree's in the right place, but the one over here 
is not right. So we do need to try again. Go back to the furnace. Oops, oh, God damn it. <laughs> Press the wrong button again. Um, replace it with another map. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. That's it. Right, let's hope we've actually done the right thing. We've only got seven shovels left before we die for some reason. Actually, where's the X? Um, hang on. Oh, it's there. Right, okay. So we go up there. And we found the treasure. Yes. So that's a, that's a success. Right, so let's go back. Let's go down really close to home. Um, I think apparently um, if, they, if they do do new versions of this, they're going to actually make it so you don't have to get all 24 treasures, because that is just quite, take quite a long time. Uh, this is a bit of a smiley face thing going on. That's not correct. Um, so we can't dig yet. So it's, it's basically like... Yeah, okay. So let's burn that. Replace it with... That looks like it. Yep. So we just need to dig between the eyes. Oop, wrong button. There we go. I'm There's no treasure in there, by the way. It's just literally just a treasure chest. Uh, and so on, really. A cool little game. Just a cle nice, clever little idea. A bit of a memory test. And of course, this is like... Um, uh, it's actually This is actually a Flash game, which you don't see very often these days. But, nice one. Okay, that's it for this video. Look out for more episodes in the playlist, subscribe to Randomize User to be notified when new stuff goes live, and maybe support the channel on Patreon for $1 a month. Thanks for watching!